Yo, what's going on, guys? We're back. We made it, boys. Wednesday hump day, getting closer to the big game on Sunday. We do have wild card Wednesday today. Maybe a little news on the limiteds that are going to be dropping tomorrow. Probably still no information yet on the promo for Super Bowl on Friday, but we are getting closer. The content is going to be coming. I'm still kind of just waiting to see what the off-season content is going to be like, Ultimate Legends and all of that fun stuff, but... One more time, I want to remind you guys, underdogfantasy.com, boys. Code SCOMO will double your deposit. You don't want to miss this. Joe Burrow special line, one yard. You don't want to miss this special line from Underdog Fantasy. Super easy to hit on this. One yard. You can add this into any of your other multipliers and parlay plays up to $25. going to be a ton of fun to match this up on Sunday, boys. Let me know what you guys are going to be parlaying with the special line with Joe Burrow. I want to see some of your guys' lines. But we're going to jump into everything. I'd probably recommend just kind of holding your training, holding your coins, still waiting for the promos. All this in-between content is just to take all your training and coins, boys. Hold. We'll see what we got. Wild card Wednesday. It used to be hype. It's the way it always is, man. It definitely lasted way longer this year with keeping up the pace of some of the stuff. But there's still like, there's still a lot of things missing with the Wild Card Wednesday stuff. I think the big thing is, is the 22,000 training it costs to roll these things. Like, it just seems like excessive. It definitely seems excessive. Like, they could have just kept it like a low training and put all of them in there I'm, I'm not sure exactly what i like for the answer of this but when like it's just it's just i don't know i i i don't know 19,000 training you're basically guaranteed the loss right so you get a few 94s that you can pull and like what there's like one or two 95s it, it's a little odd it's a little odd that the way they do this, but we do have the Josh Gordon, which I'm trying to pull right now. Let me see if I can get the Josh Gordon. That's the one everyone wants to see. Josh Gordon! 95 overall, Josh Gordon. How about that? How about that? Got him on the second pull. This is going to be the one he wants. I still can't believe they made him a route runner. Route runner, Josh Gordon, 95 speed, 95 overall, 96 catch in, 97 spec catch. Short route running. See, this is what's weird to me. You make him a route runner, but then you give him 90 short, 90 mid. He does have 95 deep, which is not bad. You would think if he was a route runner, they would have gave him a little bit better route running. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I feel like there's always Josh Gordon fans, right? Can we sell this one pretty quickly? Let's see. Let's see what he's going for. Then we're going to look at the MCS sets. Uh, auction. 289,000 just sold. Really? That's not bad. $2.99. They're all buying all those up real quick. Okay, Josh Gordon with the hit. We'll take that. Post them for like, what, $2.85? See if he insta-sells? How do we get MCS tokens if you don't have them? If you don't have them, you don't get them. You go to sets if you have them. And then you go to Madden Championship Series. And 97 overall player it still says zero of zero not looking like it's live yet but what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put in all the players from all four Madden championship series in here so if you got the tyreek the randy moss the jalen ramsey and the derwin james today you will get the 97 overall colin johnson which is going to be Henry's card that he created for winning the MCS event. He is 6'6", six, six, physical wide receiver. I'm surprised he didn't make him a route runner. I love how people don't like the Colin Johnson at 97 overall with 96 speed because his name's Colin Johnson and not Calvin Johnson. If it was Calvin Johnson, people would be going crazy. But because it's Colin Johnson and not Calvin Johnson, people say, think it's trash. Giants Thieve Team, stand up and... Jags, Jags, Jags. That's what it is. Jags, not Bucks. Jags and Giants. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. 
I, I will be the first to admit I am not a long time Colin Johnson fan. Not a big collector. Do not have a giant card collection of Colin Johnson. Um, never met him before. I do not stand on Sunday in the crowd screaming, let's go call it. So I wasn't 100% sure of his association. Never heard of the guy. Let's go call it. Archetype doesn't matter. He has two route runner buckets and one deep threat bucket. Boom. And that's why archetypes don't matter. Smart people talk in the chat. I like it. They did not tease Thursday limiteds. Did they say Thursday limiteds? We should still have Thursday limiteds. They teased us with a 95 overall Trey Hendrickson, Hendrickson right end. I'm very, very, very nervous. I'm very nervous about what the rest of the content is going to be like for the Super Bowl stuff. Because that's a 95 overall right end with 89 speed. Eh, not exactly what everyone probably wants. Limiteds on Twitter tonight. I'm hoping 95s mean a 98 master. I hope so. That's what I'm thinking, right? Because this isn't the champion. These are the cards that go into the set, correct? We had 95s last time. I'm sorry. No, we had 95s last time. They were 95s last time, and they were still just 97s. So, yeah. More than likely, your 95s from the past, your Marshawn Lynch, your Devin White, your Zach Ertz, your Malik Jackson, and your Matt Ryan, Honey Badger, David Matthews, Linvel Joseph, all these, and Douglas, more than likely, more than likely will still be used. It'd be cool if they add them in and you can use the past to maybe go into the present sets. But they were 95s last time with 97 overall sets. It's going to be very, very interesting to see if you can use these 95s to get the new 97s. That's what people are going to be wanting to know. The fact that it's past the present makes it a little iffy. But like in things that we got before, it definitely worked, right? It definitely worked before because these were like different sets that came out this way and they all worked, right? So I'm hoping that it'll be like the same thing, right? I'm hoping it'd be the same thing. Any playoff, any Super Bowl, something like that, not just past or present, but just say any Super Bowl slot. So if we go to the Super Bowl past and you click on it, it says any Super Bowl past. Past player. What do we think? Will we be able to use the Super Bowl past players on the set on Friday? That's iffy. These items say any Super Bowl past player, not just Super Bowl player. That terrifies me. Don't think it's going to be like the playoffs one then. In other times, we'd be able to use them all, like zero chill, different parts. We were able to use everything, right? The cards, like when you went into release one, two, three, four, that kind of stuff, right? The sets all said the same thing. Any zero chill player. Any zero chill player. They didn't say like set three or out of position or present past, that kind of stuff. It was any zero chill player. These say any playoff player. Okay, so all those just say any playoff player. But these, when you go into the Super Bowl sets, the lower ones say any Super Bowl past player and the higher overall ones say any Super Bowl past player making me think that you can't use the Super Bowl past 95s to get the Super Bowl present 97s that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking so if you had a bunch of those 95s normally I know people hold those things for the future sets that might not be the move for this set boys that might not be the move for be cautious, be worried. I would not be sniping these things up. Maybe if you have them, hold them. I wouldn't be going buying new ones. Terrifying. 